Creation is a journey, not a destination. In a sense, you're living with your process. I think I've learned over time that seeking out inspiration specifically sometimes can be counterproductive. The more you chase inspiration, the less likely you're able to find it. You need to be sort of agile in being able to capture that idea when inspiration comes knocking. What I'm really liking about Remarkable is its portability. You can have it on you all the time when inspiration strikes, but at the same time, it's digitally connected so that there's not the chance of losing that idea. More often than not, I've written things on an odd scrap of paper or a sketchbook that I thought I would hang on to, and, and, it's, and it's gone. I spend a lot of time hand drawing still, and then I also spend a lot of time in the digital realm as a, as a working architect, as we all do. And what's really great about the Remarkable is it sits in that interstitial area between the digital and the, and the tactile, and it bridges both of those worlds in a really fluid way. As a business owner, I find it's as practical as I do find it as an architect. When I'm working in the digital space and you incessantly have distractions that are popping in, you see email alerts, something's pressing, there's an invoice that's due or a contract that needs to be signed, it is hard even for a moment to be distracted and throws off your workflow. Remarkable seems to sort of create a focus in a sense. You don't have those distractions. You're still tied into the digital realm. You can still engage and, and focus.